2023 was a pretty dormant period for me. I was just going through a lot of life things. I kind of just like retreated a little bit, it feels like, from my community. And I, and I just, I think the only real goal is just coming back. Right now we're in my apartment. Uh, this is where I have my home studio. It's just a corner of my room in the apartment. It's not anything fancy or anything like that. This is my home, right? Like this is where I just come to relax. This is where I come to just be my absolute, you know, truest, honest self, where I can just decompress from my day. There's a little bunch of natural light. Kind of, I'm like a little flower, honestly. Like every time the sun comes out, I'm like, you know, out there feeling good. It's just a beautiful, slower part of the city that kind of puts my soul at ease. I, I like to think is the first way I got into music or like paying attention to it was through video games, you know, RPG video games, old Super Nintendo and Genesis games. The soundtracks were really, really fun to listen to and I remember just playing the games so I could listen to the music. Electronic music always felt like a really fun mystery to unravel. The mystery of that uh, became like obsessive for me. And then once I kind of got more and more familiar with the equipment and the process, it, be, it transformed into something where I'm like, oh, well, I can express myself with this. I, I have a lot of influences in shaping my sound. Um, DJ Shadow, uh, his uh, DVD set in tune and on time was one of the most amazing performances I think I'd ever seen. It was incredible. Um, it was like a mix of all the things I liked. It was like, there was a hip hop element to it. There was an ambient element to it. It was just so unbelievably creative. My mom took me to see Depeche Mode live. Watching that band live was like also its own kind of like magic trick. It, that was like a pretty big light switch moment for me where I was just like, oh, so not only is like making electronic music fun, performing it is really fun. And it doesn't have to be rock band or electronic music it can be whatever you want. Listening to artists like that kind of opened my eyes to how I could maybe express myself in a similar way because their music meant so much to me and it felt like I was being understood by it that I wanted to do the same. I wanted to create something like give back that same energy in, a, in some way. I can, my, my emotions change from minute to minute, day to day, right? And so Whenever I'm sitting down with my gear and everything, I'm kind of just taking it all in and I'm letting it all out. Um, this particular project is a pretty direct reflection of me walking through my day, usually. The day in my studio is pretty chaotic because it's never like I am now sitting in my studio and working. It's at my own pace, whatever I want, however I want. And that means it's very unstructured. Shipwreck Detective music is a little bit more relaxing because it's just playtime. I can do whatever I want. One of the most important pieces that I have is uh, my Moog Sub 37. It's absolutely pivotal to everything that I like to do with my sound. What's funny is this is my second Moog Sub 37. Um, the first one I sold to get an OP1 and I was like, what What have I done? I have like kind of in the, in the middle of the entire rack, this little mini pedal board. Um, and I keep some of my favorite pedals on that board. My secret weapon, and this should not be a secret to anybody who knows me, it's the Chase Bliss Mood pedal. That's just my absolute favorite electronic thing right now. Like, um, I use it on all shipwreck projects. It just adds this lushness and like texture to everything you run through it. Um, and it's just the kind of thing that I love. I can't get enough of it. I really like having another creative mind to kind of like push against. And you know, I think that's where a lot of interesting musical collisions happen. I like being able to like have a conversation with other musicians who are on stage with me or in a studio with me. I really just like to sit with the way that they think and try and understand how they want to express themselves and then how can I complement that. Feedback is, is definitely appreciated, right? Uh, like a lot of time I'll get like really nice comments on Instagram or something. Um, 
every once in a while I'll get a funny comment that's like, wow, like you could put a microphone next to a washing machine and it'll probably sound about the same. And I'm like, yeah, that's, that's fair. You should put a reverb on that microphone, but yeah. When I'm not doing music, uh, most friends could probably tell you I'm going to be hiking or like driving somewhere. Uh, I love I love a hike. I love a road trip. Um, I like being in motion. I've got like a lot going on up here, and so um, it's just easier to think you know, I'm moving my feet or I'm in a car and I'm just driving down a lot of country roads and everything like that. That's two of my favorite things to do if I'm not making music. Um, I'm trying to spend as much time as I can in nature when I can when I can. Balancing the amount of time I'm able to spend on music with like just a career, uh, it's an interesting time for me at this very moment because I'm, I'm going through a career transition. I used to work as a corporate copywriter for nearly a decade. These days I'm trying to become a teacher and so I'm a substitute teacher right now and that's pretty chaotic sort of schedule. You would think that that means I'd use all this extra time for music and creativity, but like, that's actually not the case. It turns out that I operate much the same as when I had a nine to five. I, I'm either in the mood or I'm not, and I have to like, I have to strike when I'm in the mood. In terms of uh, the electronic music community, I just want to be a positive force in that community. I want to be able to make understanding the gear I use more accessible to people. Like that, I want that information to be more accessible. It's the reason why I like show gear in my posts is so, you know, people can see, like it's not some mysterious behind, behind the curtain sort of thing. This is what I use to make the sounds that I like making. I'm, I'm just going to keep doing what I do and hope that it's inspiring people in the right way and hope that it's teaching people in the right way. Just going through some major life changes, it kind of cleaved off a lot of the concerns I had about myself as an artist for personal music. I just kind of like let myself like be creatively dead for a little while just so I can like take in the experiences that I was having. And the good part about that is, you know, this year, 2024, uh, I am ready to come back. I want to spend more time thinking about how I can, like how much can I get out of my favorite guitar and a really good pedal chain. Uh, just cut it really back to basics. It just kind of feels like rediscovering a classic sound and seeing what new direction I can take it in that feels personally satisfying.